According to the ancient scriptures of Abrahamic faiths, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and there was nothing in it. Over the course of six days, everything was created according to the whims of the creator, resulting in the existence of two human beings living in a garden. In this garden was a tree, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. God commanded the two inhabitants to not eat of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. And when they ate of the fruit, they incurred the wrath of God. He condemned them to die and cast them out, proclaiming that they have earned their mortality. The one question that is almost never asked about this tale is why on earth was God so antagonized by the fact that these humans dared to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil? The answer to this question can only be found in the answer to another, even more pressing question. What is the knowledge of good and evil? The knowledge of good and evil is the knowledge of right and wrong. It is the ability to discern reality from unreality, truth from falsehood, morality from immorality. The knowledge of good and evil inherently derives from reason. The only conceivable cause for any being to restrict another from the potential capability of perceiving reality is that this being wishes to control his potential subjects. The deity of ancient scripture commanded his slaves to live their lives solely for the purpose of glorifying him. Therefore, the most offensive thing that they could do to him would be to think for themselves, rather than blindly base every single idea of theirs upon the words of that which is placed above them. This is inherent in the passage from Scripture which beseeches us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Knowledge of good and evil represents all that is great and good about humanity. It is impossible without reason, the source of all creativity, individuality, liberty. Without the ability to form value judgments, without the ability to form moral judgments, we are nothing more than drones, meat automatons. This is the design of religion, to subjugate man's mind to the blind servitude, to a being that we are forbidden to question or understand. To reduce us to the level of zombies, blindly serving an alleged creator simply because he created us. And what is the supposed punishment for refusing? What do the scriptures proclaim as the ramification for resisting the terms imposed upon us? The punishment is the most horrific injustice ever devised by evil men. Eternal conscious torture. Human beings, the kind that do not subject their minds to tyranny, the kind that do not bow before every power that is placed above them, are to be sent to an eternal cosmic gulag for not pledging their devotion to the great leader of the universe. Such a being is not fit for worship. Such a being does not warrant my loyalty. Such a being represents the most deep and dark evil ever conceived by the mind of man. Such a being is an eternal tyrant, one who rules the universe on his whim and crushes those who do not subject themselves and their lives to his arbitrary designs. If such a being did exist, I would not worship it anyways. I will not trust in anything with all my heart. I will not place my blind faith in any form of government. Rather, I am the man who leans on his own understanding. I will not compromise my reason, my freedom, for the will of any being that proclaims itself deserving of my worship, servitude, and allegiance. Rather, I choose reason, liberty, and independence. I choose the tree.